What I don't like about the world right now is how unforgiving we are and how we are so relentless to take people down. Um, well, when you break the law, you may have to go down. Lori Loughlin may be facing years in prison, but her daughters may have plenty of time to visit her since they are no longer attending the University of Southern California after the college admissions scandal. But I do want the experience of like game days, partying, I don't really care about school, as you guys all know. <laughs> now it's unclear whether USC pulled their emissions or if Olivia Jade and Isabella dropped out on their own terms. Now in July, US reported that they were kicked out of their sorority. How rude. Now the news comes more than six months after Lori and her husband were arrested for their alleged involvement in the scandal. They are accused of paying $500,000 for their daughters to be named recruits to the crew team, despite the fact that neither of them is a rower. Do what makes you happy, you really only, YOLO, you only live once. Now in September, an insider told us that Olivia has been resentful over the scandal because it's been bad for business, which has been devastating for Lori. I don't want to do anything that one day might rear its ugly head and my children have to pay the price for that. The two pled not guilty to fraud and money laundering charges in April and they are facing, get this, up to 40 years behind bars. I wonder what Aunt Becky thinks of all this. You're kidding. You're kidding. You're kidding. He's kidding. <laughs> but Lori may want to get ready to trade in her designer duds for an orange jumpsuit, since prison time does look likely since Felicity Huffman was sentenced to 14 days for her involvement in the scandal and she pled guilty. But before Lori does go behind bars, she may have to deal with her husband, Massimo, since sources tell us her marriage may be in trouble, since Lori actually wanted to take a plea deal, but her husband didn't. An insider tells us weekly that Lori was inclined to take the deal, but Massimo said it would ruin both of their careers, and he expects to be fully exonerated and will refuse any other plea deal offers. Probably not a good move. But whatever the future holds, one thing is for sure that Lori is no longer in denial. I'm just as scared as you. An insider tells us weekly she realizes the severity of her situation and she's taking some responsibility. Looks like Lori is trading in full house for the big house. If you like what you see and want more news just like this, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. What are you waiting for? Do it right now.